The next update will be coming on November 6th, when I'll be presenting our government's fall economic statement. That's when the government updates the state of the economy and announces any new financial policies. Though the minister today didn't detail exactly what's going to be in it. He did say, though, the government is on track to beat its previous 2019 deficit projection of $10.3 billion. But boy, the minister did paint a rather gloomy picture of the economy. We are undoubtedly living in some uncertain times. A hard deal, no Brexit is pending. The U.S.-China trade war continues unabated. Protectionism is gaining strength globally, and G7 countries, including our own, are rolling up considerable debts in a time of relative prosperity. Well, we wanted to ask the finance minister if he was using that language to, shall we say, soften the beaches for more cuts. I think what you'll see is a balanced approach, an approach that understands that there are expenditures that we need to make in strategic areas, but that also, you know, to the point of my speech today, understands that for the medium and long term, we have to address the debt and the deficit. So that, that means possibly more cuts, then, Minister. The gloomy outlook that keeps being provided is to just make way to these uh, cuts that are, in fact, going to hurt the most vulnerable people in our province. We've seen what this government has done to our education system with cuts, health care cuts. So across the board, we're seeing cuts. And again, so I think all of this is just to justify and rationalize the need for these cuts. Phillips was asked by reporters if he could guarantee Ontarians that there would not be any more cuts. Our government is a government that really is focused on this balanced approach. And the balanced approach does mean that we have to find efficiencies. It does mean that we can find better ways to do things. And we're going to do that. That's what taxpayers expect us to do. It was a who's who of Bay Street in the lunchtime crowd. Mike Harris was in attendance, but Doug Ford continued to dodge the cameras. We saw at least one uh, former uh, premier in the crowd. Were you upset that the current premier didn't come and watch your speech today? Do you know why that was the case? Um, I don't know. That's a really great question. It's not one that I can answer. I think we need to ask the premier uh, why he's in hiding. So it'll be all eyes now on that November 6th economic update. Last year, the Ford government used it to deliver some big news, including a plan to consolidate the province's independent oversight offices. We'll see what we get this year at the Canadian Club, Richard Southern City News.